In this video, I'll show you how to build a formula that uh, uses the values here or a record and looks for that record in another data table and then gets a value from this column here. So there are two worksheets in this workbook sheet 1 and sheet 2 and I want to see them both at the same time so go to tab view on the ribbon and then click on new window and then arrange all and I want to only see the worksheets of the active workbook and then click OK, click vertical and then click OK and now I have I can see both of them. However, I'm looking at the same data set right now. Now, I'm going to use the countifs function to find the record I'm looking for. Countifs. And the criteria range, um, I'm going to use the first value in this record, and it's this one. And the second argument, I'm going to use the, rec the cell range that has quantity in this set, data set. And I want to use absolute cell references, so press function key F4 to convert them to locked cell ranges. And that means that they won't change when you copy the formula. However, the first argument may change. And now press comma, and this is the third argument. So now we have the quantity, now I'm going to use the model and then a comma again and now I want this cell range here in column model press F4 comma and the next one is material and comma and then this column function key F4 comma and then this value here, order, comma, and then this column here, function key F4, ending parenthesis. And now you need to enter this as an array formula. So hold uh, both control and shift keys, and then press enter once, and release all keys. And then extend this array formula to cells below so you can see all the values in this array. And then repeat Control, Shift, and press Enter. And now you can see that this array contains mostly zeros, but there's one one. <laughs> and uh, if you compare the values here, with the values here, you can see that they all match. And that is the record I'm looking for. So now I need to get this value here, in this cell here. So copy the countifs function and paste it here. and equal sign and now I want to know where in this cell range this record is and to f I'm going to use the match function and I'm looking for the value 1 and then comma and then this array or this formula that we built so far and then a comma again, and I want an exact match. So 
a third argument is a zero in the match function, and then an ending parenthesis. And now enter this as an array formula. Press and hold Control and Shift keys and press Enter once. And now the formula returns an error, and that is because I copied the cell references from this sheet to this sheet. And I need to specify the sheet name sheet1 and then copy that to the remaining cell references that doesn't have that don't have a sheet reference. And now you can see that the formula returns 3, so the value we are looking for is in row 3. But uh, this uh, record here is on row 5. Why is the, this telling us it's in row 3? And that is because uh, the match function returns the position in this array, not in this array. So this value here begins with what, row number 1, 2 and 3. And the next thing to do is to use the index function to get the value we want. And it's in column F. And lock the cell reference, use the function key f4 to lock, to lock it, and then a comma, and the next argument in the index function is the row number, and, and that's all there is to it, except an ending parenthesis. Now press and hold control and shift key, and press enter once, and now it returns the value from row 3. And if we change this to something like this, it changes here too. And you can now copy this formula. And the easiest way to do that is to click and hold on the black dot and then drag down to cells below as far as necessary. And then release. And we have the values we want.